what's going on guys it's your boy treetop piper coming back at you uh, today I decided that I was going to try out some of this gold brick Virginia and I tell you what it is pretty tough cutting a plug like that those plugs are solid you know you can only get little chunks off at a time but it's really it's ready to smoke It has this wonderful zestiness to it. Something I've never really tasted in a Virginia. I know you guys will notice I'm not smoking my, my typical first impressions pipe. Reason being, I did uh, smoke a bowl of, or a small portion of a bowl of this out of my Meerschaum, and it just, I don't think it does Virginia's justice sometimes. Whereas this pipe always does a vapor or a Virginia justice. It's got a nice, tall, skinny bowl. my Parker Sandblast sitter and it's really making this this tobacco pop here there's this zesty sweet uh, stewed fruit um, molasses -y flavor. Almost tastes spicy without the actual heat, you know, without the hotness. Burns really nicely. Um, I cut it into regular size uh, if it had come out as a whole flake, it would have been uh, somewhere between McClellan's and Robert McConnell's or McBaron's. Not quite as thin, but not as thick as McClellan's. There's an awful lot going on here. You know, and I totally understand why plug tobacco was so popular for so long. Because it marries those flavors together so well um, you know it, it brings the tobaccos in such close proximity that sort of forces them to get along you know uh, uh, I wanted to show you guys I got my staples out yesterday and my stomach is really getting back to normal. It's kind of weird, actually. It's only been two weeks, and um, my stomach is pretty much uh, normal. Uh, there's not really much else I can say, which is crazy. It seems crazy to me. But they gave me two vaccines in each arm. Oh my God, they hurt so bad. It's like getting two tetanus shots in each arm and it just feels like somebody just hit me so hard in my arms. Man, 
Man, this is such a lovely, zesty Virginia. I could totally see myself smoking this and watching movies. Just enough to keep your attention on the tobacco, but not too much to where, you know, you can't do other things. Because the flavor is very pronounced. Like I said, it's very zesty. And I like that about some Virginias. I think it's, um, maybe it's when they steam them. I don't know. But this Wessex, this is what we're smoking here. Wessex Gold Brick Virginia Plug. Can't go wrong with it. Really well made tobacco, um, and it goes really nice in this pipe. I've always liked this pipe for uh, vapors and Virginias. It just smokes them really nicely. It's not getting too hot. No tongue bite to speak of. Just a really tasty blend. Well made, well concocted. Um, they've there's a lot of flavor there, a lot of nuances, a lot of depth. Because, like I said, I get a zestiness and I get a sweetness. There is this mellow sweetness I get sometimes. Pretty nice retro hail. You get a nice sharp uh, retro hail out of it. I'm really pleased about this one. And it'll be one of the ones that, you know, um, stays in a jar and that you know gets that age on it as I can tell this is just going to be one of those tobaccos going to get better and better and better with age which uh, I just opened a package I got uh, a tin of in-between mixture and a tin of 20th anniversary from Smokers Haven Pretty excited about that. It's always nice to replace some of your favorite blends. But anyway, um, if you haven't tried the Wessex Gold Brick, um, you have to get the 100 grams. So it's like a $15 brick, but you get a ton of tobacco. The recipe's on point, tastes very good. I mean, it has something for everyone. I think, you know, guys like me that are really into the nuances of the flavor, it's got you covered there. But it also has this really just enjoyable, simple smoke smoking flavor that vapor, a lot of vapors and Virginias have, where there's a lot of nuance, but you know, you don't detect it so much until you get this, you know, really nice palate going. Once you've got that going, then you, you start tasting all these different flavors. But even, even if you're not looking for that, if you're just looking for a good solid Virginia smoke, it fills that, that niche too. I really like it. I think it's fantastic. Um, this is going to be uh, 
you know, this and the Robert McConnell uh, Red Virginia. Probably going to be smoking a lot of these over the summer. Just got a nice, nice Virginia flavor, nice change of pace for me. Well, with that, I'm going to cut you guys loose. I appreciate everybody, all the well-wishing from the last video. I'm doing great. Um, the doctor said everything looks perfect. And, uh, you know, that's what's going on in my corner. You know, life is beginning to get back to normal. I'm going to start work in two to four weeks. But until next time, guys, I'm going to continue enjoying this. But until next time, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Treetop Piper over and out.